What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. And first, to point out the obvious, I'm not wearing my glasses. And also to point it out, I shaved. I no longer look like the Unabomber. So here I am, without any facial hair, without any hair. Now the reason that I'm doing this video is because I was talking to a friend earlier and we started to talk about celebrities that we may have met throughout our lives and he had a couple and I had and I had a couple and I was reminded of a story of the time mom met Mel Gibson and then I realized I have not told this on video before and I can't believe it. So Mel Gibson was in Charleston. They were filming the movie The Patriot and we went downtown where Mel Gibson was staying at his hotel. I'm pretty sure her mom was just going downtown to meet Mel Gibson. You know, the news is, oh, and Mel Gibson's in town tonight filming for his new movie The Patriot. And the first thing that we see directly across the street from Mel Gibson's hotel are these tents and they're set up in the middle of a park and they got all of these Civil War reenactors, uh, you know, just for the movie and they're all dressed up in, in their costumes and they're they're all eating and talking, and me and mom are just looking around. Mom's going, where's Mel at? I need to see Mel! Mom's just looking everywhere she can to find Mel Gibson, and then she spots him. Mel Gibson is leaving his hotel. There are other people around the area. There are people taking pictures, and Mel Gibson's walking to a limousine. Mom is about for me to my back door to Mel Gibson, and mom goes, hey, Mel! And mom just takes off running. And I don't know if Mel Gibson heard her or, you know, if his security was alerted. But all of a sudden, the security sort of getting closer to Mel Gibson. At this point, mom is about a foot away from Mel Gibson. And she's going, hey, Mel! And she's trying to reach through security. And she's trying to get him and trying to talk to him. And he's smiling at everybody. How you doing? He shakes mom's hand. Mom's trying to push her way through like a psychopath. Like I'm pretty sure Mel Gibson thought he was about to die. Because mom is going, ah, I gotta get to Mel! And Mel's going, <sighs> Mel makes a face when mom gets past the security, her elbow gets through. You see Mel go, um. And so he shakes mom's hand, it's very nice to meet you. He shakes mom's hand and mom goes, I'm never washing this hand again! At this point, Mel Gibson goes, okay, and he gets into his limousine, and he starts banging on the side of it. He's just going, pa 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 pa, And the limousine speeds off. So that was the time mom met Mel Gibson. She saw him outside of his hotel, she pounced at him, and she started reaching through until he got scared, got into his limousine, and he sped off. Of course, years later, mom would tell you a very different version of the story, as it always seemed to change when she told people. She transformed it to she sort of stalked and bum-rushed Mel Gibson and scared him into speeding into his limousine and leaving. And it sort of changed into mom saw Mel Gibson, he comes up to her and he says, it's very nice to meet you, shakes her hand and leaves, which that motherfucking shit didn't happen. Mom, Mel Gibson did not approach you, say it was nice to meet you, smile at you and then leave. He was scared to death because you were scaring him. So Mel Gibson, if you see this, and I doubt you will, you're too busy being anti-Semitic, but if you see this, we're sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> didn't mean for my mother to bum rush you and make you think you were about to be killed. Because you didn't die, you finished your movie, and you probably tell people about the woman that almost tried to kill you in Charleston. That's it. Like, subscribe, favorite, and that's Mom's Celebrity Encounter with Mel Gibson.